Devarim, Deuteronomy 19. When Yahuwah, Eloheka, has cut off at the nations, and rather at whose land Yahuwah, Eloheka, gives you, and you succeed them, and dwell in their cities, and in their houses, you shall separate three cities for you in the midst of your land, which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you to possess it. You shall prepare a way and divide at the coasts of your land, which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you to inherit into three parts, that every slayer may flee thither. And this is the case of the slayer, which shall flee thither, that he may live. Whoso kills at his neighbor ignorantly, whom he hated not in time past. And when a man goes into the wood with at his neighbor to hew wood, and his hand fetches a stroke with the axe to cut down the tree, and the head slips from the helf, and lights upon at his neighbor that he die, he shall flee unto one of those cities and live. Lest the avenger of the blood pursue the slayer, while his heart is hot, and overtake him, because the way is long, and slay him, whereas he was not worthy of death, inasmuch as he hated him not in time past. Wherefore I command you, saying, You shall separate three cities for you. And if Yahuwah Eloheka enlarge at your coast, as he has sworn unto your fathers, and give you at all the land which he promised to give unto your fathers, if you shall guard at all these commandments to do them, which I command you this day, to love at Yahuwah Eloheka, and to walk ever in his ways, then shall you add three cities more for you, beside these three. That innocent blood be not shed in your land, which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you for an inheritance, and so blood be upon you. But if any man hate his neighbor and lie in wait for him, and rise up against him, and smite him mortally that he die, and flees into one of these cities, then the elders of his city shall send and fetch him thence there, and deliver him into the hand of the avenger of blood, that he may die. Your eye shall not pity him, but you shall put away the guilt of innocent blood from Yashara'el, that it may go well with you. You shall not remove your neighbor's landmark, which they of old time have set in your inheritance, which you shall inherit in the land that Yahuwah Eloheka gives you to possess it. One witness shall not rise up against a man for an iniquity, rather for any iniquity or for any sin, in any sin that he sins. At the mouth of two witnesses or at the mouth of three witnesses, shall the matter be established. If a false witness rise up against any man to testify against him that which is wrong, then both the men between whom the controversy is shall stand before Yahuwah, before the priests and the judges, which shall be in those days. And the judges shall make diligent inquisition and behold, if the witness be a false witness and has testified falsely against his brother, then shall ye do unto him as he had thought to have done unto his brother. So shall you put the evil away from among you. And those which remain shall hear and fear 
and shall henceforth commit no more any such evil among you. And your eyes shall not pity, but life shall go for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot.